Welcome back to my channel. This is Sally. My YouTube channel's name is Swedish Style. If you're new to here, welcome, welcome very much. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Anyway, I just want to jump right into today's topic. I'm going to talk about transitional styling. As we all know that the rest of the world is um, transitioning into autumn and then winter. But now in here, like I'm in central Queensland, it's just hot as hell i'm going to bring you guys five different outfits with using um, 17 16 different items and i hope that this video will be inspiring or helpful at least to you guys no matter you are transitioning from summer into autumn and then winter or you're transitioning from winter into spring and then summer those five outfits are really are really useful and really practical to me and they can very much reflect like my current style without saying too much let's jump into the video starting off with a really simple casual monochrome look with a bit color twist it's something i would wear when i go down to brisbane which has cooler temperature I am wearing a simple white jumper from Reformation, a plain forest green t-shirt from AS Color, Arquette linen pants in beige, a chunky sandal also from Arquette. I like to add a big bag into this kind of look to add in some weight, but still keep looking classic. This bucket bag is from Sophie Hume. The outfit is super comfortable and easy to wear and could easily be worn in colder days or warmer days by adding a jacket or coat or taking off this white jumper then changing the sandal into a chunky shoe when it goes into colder months. I like to play with layering when it comes to the transitional styling and this forest green color could be my favorite color in autumn. This Sophie Hume bag is a new piece just added into my collection this month. It's called Swing Bag in size large. It has two straps and can be easily styled into different ways. Wearing with the longer strap, it looks more casual, whereas with the shorter one, it looks more classic. The second outfit, I kept my very much beloved uh, cat linen pants on as well as keeping the whole outfit neutral tone with Uniqlo men's white t-shirt laid with a neat vest in beige, also from Uniqlo men's section. I paired the look with my simple off-white whistles mini bucket bag and Reebok Classics Club C Vintage. Vests so big this season, they are absolutely all over my Instagram and for me personally, I cannot get enough. I think they are super cute in addition to my office. They are also super practical for me to wear as an added layer in spring or autumn seasons. And I like to pair them with beige toner looks like this. Um, I found this cheaper option recently from Uniqlo men's section. It's the perfect oversized fitting that I adore. I would wear something like this up to the supermarket to grab a coffee with friend to go and do some chill activities with Aaron. This outfit would definitely work for both spring and autumn. If you are a bit cold still, you could add a trench coat or a winter coat over the top of this look. Next up, I've got my beloved Arquette grey trousers on with a simple white ripped tank also from Arquette. I threw a simple grey cardigan from Uniqlo over my shoulder. I paired the look with my Sophie Hume swing bag and black loafers from Vigabond. So I also kept this outfit very much monochrome which is another very simple, comfortable, chic and easy to wear outfit. This is such a comfortable outfit and something you could really wear to a wide variety of occasions. It is very simple but could easily be dressed up with some boot heels instead or even dressed down with some sneakers. The Greek cardigans is must have in my wardrobe for transitional seasons. It could be simply worn as an extra layer over your shoulder or covering all up like a jacket. I think this is probably the most put together look in the whole video for me. This is a slightly dressier look mainly because of its art kit trousers. I think it is a good investment I made early this year. For me, it's truly the timeless piece due to its color, good material and classic cut and fit. 
the next outfit was inspired by my fashion icon supermodel Lil Wen. I recreated this look from her. It is also a blue denim look I wanted to show you guys for spring and autumn. I am wearing a v-neck long sleeve cardigan inside small from Uniqlo U collection of men, my Wrangler blue baggy jeans. I paired this look with my uh, whistles mini bag just to add a bit contrast into the look. I kept my vagabond black loafers on to keep the denim look more put together. I tucked the cardigan into my jeans to make my legs elongated visually. I love how loose, long and baggy these jeans at the bottom. I think it looks really cool how they slouch over the loafers. This men's cardigan from Uniqlo U collection is just perfection to me. It sits really nicely on my body and could be nicely tucked into the bottom as well. It could be a versatile piece in wardrobe in my opinion and this burnt orange, well, wow, it's a masterpiece. The outfit could easily become your transitional look as you can simply put on a trench coat, winter coat or any jacket to keep yourself warmer but still look fit and put together. The last look I'm going to show you is how I would style my skirt. A long skirt could still be useful to transitional styling. I am wearing my old but beloved black hollow knitting cardigan from the Princess Highway. Beautiful, beautiful realization pass silk skirt. I've paired with my Reebok Classics Club C Vintage and Sophie Hume Swing Bag. Cardigan and skirt as a combo itself is very girly already. Therefore, I added some chunky bits in um, to keep the whole outfit more balanced and a vintage sneaker could still bring some chill vibe to it i didn't choose to button the cardigan all up and simply chose to show some skin in the middle even its transitional season i think the whole proportion will look better in this way of styling this outfit could easily be dressed up by changing white sneakers to a black boot heels or elegant flats, adding a nice trench coat or leather jacket to spice it up. I would definitely wear this look to a date night with Erin in spring and autumn. Thank you so much for watching today's video and hopefully you find the video is like helpful, useful, a little bit inspiring to uh, the current season. If you like my video, please remember to subscribe to my channel and then click the like button. It will help me a lot in the future. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!